evening. What a lovely day it's been today. Even though I haven't been out, I just know by looking out the window. It's been a nice day. It was being a bit windy. A bit windy. But otherwise a nice day. How's everyone today? Hope you're all having a good day. Right. So I'm just waiting. Just give it a few more minutes because people are still coming in. If you haven't already, well, I don't like to say it now because you haven't watched it. So I'm not going to say it. I'll wait to the end or halfway through. Because I don't like, I, I go on YouTube channels and they go, please hit that like button when you come in. Why should I hit the like button when I haven't seen what you've got to get, what you got to say? I may not like what you've got to say. So why would I give a like when I first come in? Unless I like the YouTuber itself. Then I'll give them a like, just because I like the person. Not because of what they're saying. <laughs> So, oh, you think this case that we're looking at, you think every day, think, well, the search has been called off. We know what the Spanish police can be like. They can be a bit laid back. You know what I mean? They're just waiting for any information to come in and then they'll deal with it as it comes in. So you're thinking nothing much is going to happen. But then... Boom, you get a shock. And it always happens when I come off my live. So tonight, before I come off my live, I'm going to check <laughs> to see if there's any new updates. Because I come off my live last night, and I went and gave myself something to eat. I know I shouldn't do it at half 10, 11 o'clock at night, I know. But... I can't eat, like, at 5 or 6 p.m. I do, if I'm at my daughter's or at my son's, then I will. You know what I mean? Because I eat early. <coughs> <coughs> well, I eat at a, reason, a reasonable time, I should say. Because I've both got children. Right? And I both want to get to bed before 10 p.m. Where I live on my own, so I eat when I want and sleep when I want. So if I don't want to go to sleep, well, all depends on my medication if it kicks in. Sometimes my medication kicks in and I can be asleep within half an hour of coming off this live. Because when I, when I come off this live, I take my medication. Within half an hour, I'm, I'm out for the count. So... But some nights I can take my medication and I'm still sitting up watching TV at 2, 3, 4 a.m. in the morning. It's ridiculous. Then I go to bed, I stumble off into my bed. And I'm getting up, I'm waking up again about 8 o'clock. I'm thinking, I've had two hours sleep. Is, are these medica is this medication actually working, I'm thinking? But it does work. I just think it all depends on how my, how relaxed I am, how much is going on in my head on the night time, whether, I wanna, whether it shuts down. <laughs> if I've got a lot going on, then my, my brain won't shut, shut down. It takes a long time for it to shut down. So that's when the medication kicks in. But other nights... I can, as soon as I have that medication, within half an hour, I can be asleep. So, just like to say hello to everyone on X that are here, and anyone on YouTube who are here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate you all being here. You could be elsewhere, but you choose to be here.
But my cats are all quiet. Hold on, hold on. I've just said that and now I've got a touch wood. Touch wood. Touch wood. My cats are all quiet. Don't know where they are. Probably sprawled out over my bed so I can't get into it later. I woke up this morning and I went to stretch out and I couldn't. Because my cats were either side of the bottom of the bed. And I couldn't stretch my legs out. <laughs> oh, God. I couldn't even get my legs straight down the bed because of the, the, the weight on the, on the duvet. I couldn't get my legs down. I think you two are killing my hair. I'd love to buy them their own bed, but well, they've got a bed to sleep on, but they don't sleep on that. They sleep on my bed. And give me filthy looks in the morning when I get up at, like, really early. It's like, what the hell are you doing up so early? You know what I mean? Okay. Right. So uh, I just had to go and get my coffee that I left over by my sofa. Right, so. Let's look. What are we talking about? Oh, yeah, Jay Slater. I've also got the link to the live stream camera in Kenya Reef. There's several links. Several live streams cameras, but there's only one I can click on which will let me go to it. All the others are saying I've got to get permission. It's my flipping laptop. I think there's an app on here that's stopping me from going into certain things because of there's an age limit on it or something. I'm going to have to see what it is and get it took off disabled. Anyway, let's just see. He wanted to watch it. What's it called now? Um, it's called. I'll find it in a minute. Oh, yeah. And I think I find the beach it happened on as well. That video that was caught, I think this is the beach that we're going to see where that live stream happened. Oh, you see, oh here we are. Which one is it that will let me go on? I think it's this one. Always gives me a flip. Uh, oh, God. Now, this is from, it's a live from Las Cristianas Beach. Right? Now, that is where he was staying in that area. He was actually staying in that area. If you notice over here, to the right, up here, there's lots of boats, lots of boats, and there's also there's a net thing that goes across, 
So they can put a buggy in the water there. Because it is boats and that netting. So no way was he putting the water there. This is not running. Why is this not running? Stand is going. Now I'll do a time lapse. I'll do a time lapse. But it's still not showing you. Now, see what I mean? Look. Yeah, we'll go back a little bit by the time lapse. Right, see how dark it is on the beach. But look, there's these boats here. So if something happened on here, on this beach, would these people over here on these boats and whatever not have heard something? You know what I mean? It was like 5, 5, 5, 5, 30 in the morning. They met up with their supposedly big, supposedly big men. Even so, if something happened on that beach, you got all this going on. I know this is early in the evening, but you still got it all going on. Hold on. Let's do the time lapse again. Oh, God, save my mouse. See, that's the ferry, I said, a ferry that goes over to the main island. Don't want that now, do we? We want this one. Hopefully it'll work because it's been working for me today. Why is it not? Oh, God's sake. Hold on. Stop the game, all this internet is doing my head in. Now this is the that this is one of the cameras where that on the on the morning of the seventeen fifty when that argument on the beach happened, that is not showing. They're not showing that video, that live. That's been took off their screen. Don't know why. So there must be something on there for them to say, oh, well, we'll take that off. Yeah, we need that as evidence. Right, so looks a nice place. Don't know if I'm gonna go there now in case I got lost. First, you never get found, would you? Oh, 
But I've also found something else out today. Apparently about the last ping of his phone. I'm going to look at that. I'm going to look at that. Where are we now? How big are we now? I did try Google Earth, but I don't like Google Earth. I just can't work it as good as I can Google Maps. Uh, it looks a nice place, you know what I mean? I can't put the place down. Right, let's just stop this a minute. Oh, God's sake, this is in my head. Here. Stop that. And we're going to go to Google Maps. Because I want to show you where, apparently, the last ping was of his phone. Right? Because apparently there's something about some uh, some on the Apple summer if you put a, someone's phone number in or something it'll give the last ping on the maps as to where it was and this woman this person was able to overlay it onto a, a Google Maps and it showed round about about here round about there somewhere between here and here Right. Now, what I still don't get the fact that one, why would he leave to go up to that B Airbnb? First of all, the two guys they met only a couple of nights ago. I don't trust anyone that that quick. Hi. Right? And then you decide to leave in the morning without getting your phone charged and go the wrong way, knowing that you've got very little battery, right? And you've got very little water or no water, but you decide to go the wrong way all the way up this road all the way around and around and up and up and up right all the way now could you stop there that place opens about 10 a.m in the morning why didn't you just wait two hours there i'm sure the bus could have picked him up from there as well right <laughs> but no he decides to walk up here right up to here and then comes on to this dirt track. Let's see what the dirt what it shows. This is the road view. Uh, I can't see the track from here. But there is a track apparently. Oh, I put the right place to stop there, didn't you, Ange? Right in front of a flipping bush. You've done it again, haven't you? Oh, yeah, you can see the track there. See the track? Oh. 
and she stopped doing that. Right, I'm gonna get past these. Um, no, 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 for God's sake. I swear to God. I fucking hate Google Maps. No, no, well, well, you can still see the, the path there, right? I wonder if you can see it here. You can't see it there. Well, you can. You can see a bit of the path there. You can see a bit of the path there. So I think that might be where the path is around there. Right? Now, apparently, that was where his phone was pinging, in that area, around that area. Right, yeah, hold on. Are we near there? Oh, no. Right, so his phone, he, for his phone to get in this area, he's gone off road. He's gone off road. For what reason? We don't know. He's a 19 year old intelligent lad, but he leaves an Airbnb without charging a phone. He leaves without any water any fluids, and then decides to walk the wrong way, uphill, and then when he gets so far, goes onto a dirt track. Right? Now, I think you can actually get on, on this dirt track. There's points where you can get onto it. Oh, I'm sure there is because I've, you know, not on that one then. Not on that one. But I know there was one I went on. But why would you go onto a dirt, come off a main road where there's going to be people with cars where you could flag them down? Yeah? Uh, buses. Houses. Shops. Right? Now, there's one guy who took a, a ride around these streets, and it's, people are making out this is very barren, and no houses or towns anywhere. Well, I don't know where he was driving, but on these maps, you can't see towns here. You can see little places like this place, and this place. Right? And there's a place in there. You know what I mean? But... Otherwise, there's not a lot of houses in this area. Anyway, so his phone was supposed to be pinging from around there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you. We did watch it last night, but I have actually found his TikTok. And um, we're going to watch to see what he says. It opens up for me. Christopher. Just going to watch what he says because he's the one who's been on that track. Let's find Christopher. Come on. Oh, Hi. Now he's been boots on the ground, so fair dues to this guy. Fair dues. You know what I mean? Is it this one or that one? I can't remember. Well, look at this one. I think it's this one.
Hmm, is that just a picture? Might just be a picture then. Let's look at this one then. Why is this not going? Why is none of these working for me? This isn't like an old building cross. Beehive. Right, so you know it's working then, so which one is it? Come on. I know it's one of these, it was working today. Why is it working? Let's try this one. Why well, is it not working for me? I don't understand. I've been watching these today, so I don't understand why it's not working now. Oh, God, God, fucking hate. I hate TikTok. Have I told you I, how much I hate TikTok? Oh, God, for sake. This is what I was talking about earlier, about the app port is more accurate. They're searching in the wrong area. What three words? Rocket. If you go onto an app port, app some app and you type in rocket cobweb conjuring it'll give you and this was a video as well no why isn't this working i'll give up i swear to god i give up i give up with tiktok you fucking crap crust any video is it going to work for me please Why is it not working? I'm coming out of this, I'll come into it again. I don't know why it's not working for me. It's doing my fucking nothing now. Because I knew it was working earlier because that's how I found them all. Oh uh, my lord. Try this one again. I'll give up. I'm not going to follow anyone on TikTok if it's not going to fucking work for me. No. No, it's not working for me. Anyway, that guy <coughs> found out and he went to that location. They showed on that app. <coughs> and he said, if that phone is not going to be on the path, it's not going to be on a dirt path. Because they've walked all these dirt paths. All these have been walked. Right? And if that phone was pinging in that area, right, he said, it's like a lot of soft rambles on like ferns and whatever on the ground so you've got no proper foothold to stand on your feet just sink into it and when you do try and get up out of there you've got stones and rocks that just crumble away from under your feet 
and it took him ages to walk five 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 meters in to the into that to walk from that path into this a little way it took him five ten minutes right he said no way has some lad decided to cut off this path walk think oh well the road's only up there i'm going to walk through this these bushes and whatever because it's not easy you're getting ripped to bits everything right you're falling over you've got no treading you've got no foothold no grip he said and why would you do that why wouldn't you just walk back on the path you came down to get back up onto the main road if you thought you was on a path there oh god i'm not sharing it am i no sorry Sorry, everyone, I thought I was sharing it and wasn't. Right. Should come up in a minute. Right, now, if you was on that path, if you thought, OK, I'm going to take this dirt path down here, right, then realise... Oh shit, I've took shouldn't have done that. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna cut across here up to the main road again. That guy's told you you can't do that because there's no there's no proper foot holding, right? You're falling over, rocks and dirt underneath are just literally moving. Right? You're getting ripped to bits. Plus bitten from all the little flies and insects and whatever else is out there why right? so you're not going to cut through that you're not but why would you why wouldn't you just say oh oh dear uh yeah uh, i don't think i should have come this way go that way back up why would you say to lucy may i'm lost i don't know where i am you just flipping walk there from the main road. You know what I mean? Just turn around and backtrack. And get back up on the main road. Simple. Turn around. Backtrack. Walk up the dirt road again. Because he couldn't have got far into there. Into this. The guy said, if his phone is in this, anywhere around here, then it's been thrown. It's been thrown in there. Because you're not going to walk through there. A lag like that is not going to be able to walk through that area. It's not going to happen. But I still come back to the point. Why would you leave an Airbnb? Well, first of all, why would you go to an Airbnb? When you've got your own apartment. Right? Why would you leave an Airbnb and not wait for the bus, like the woman said, 10 o'clock? Why would you leave the Airbnb and think, OK, I'm going to walk, and then walk the wrong way? And then think, OK, I'm going to take a shortcut, I'm going to cut down this dirt path. Oh dear, I don't know where I am, I'm lost, got no water, I've got 1% battery. You know what I mean? Why would you do that? Because I know I wouldn't be. Even at 19, I wasn't that stupid. You know what I mean? So, it's, it's, it doesn't make sense why he would do all that. And then you have the search parties out there, right? Don't forget, pinging there. Phone's still pinging, right? But then I heard someone say today, apparently, when your phone dies, it won't ping. Yeah, it does. You can still get it, a location. I found that out. And I will pull it up for you. When phone dies, OK, 
Khan y Steel. Pingy. Oh, I'm wrong. Just help if I spell it right. Let's see what it says. Because I know I read some of the other week, eh? Right, location is sharing stops when playing battery dies. Now, I read some of the other day. Where they can still find their phone. Because even though your phone is off or dead. Yes, hey. If, you're, if your lost iPhone is dead, you can see... The last known loca location, but not the current location. Right. So, the last location where it pinged from would have been the house. Yeah? Would have been that Airbnb. So, why are they saying the phone pinged there? Uh, pinged. Oh, where am I looking at? If that's the case, why are they saying the phone pinged down? Around there. Because it will ping the last location. Right? Now, was he talking to Lucy May before he went on this dirt path? In which case, it would probably ping up here. You know what I mean? Or here. And if that's the case, why did he carry on walking when he found when his phone died? But I know there is somehow um on some certain makes of phones uh you can still Oh god my you can still f track a phone somehow. I can't remember how they did it. Let's have a read again. Uh. Right. So it says... However, up until the point where the power goes out, the phone is still communicating with the network. And um, which cellular tower it was near is recorded. Let's see. Right. Get the fuck off. What's that popped up for? I can't even see what I'm I'll just accept. If the phone is literally without a power source, then it is not connected to the cellular net network and cannot communicate. However, up until the point where the power goes off, the phone is still communicating with the network. And with cellular tower, it was near, it was recorded. Since people do not walk very quickly, you can find a dead phone by asking the net network where, very approximately, it was last located. So, right, what they're saying is, say he's, he's walking down here when you he, say he's down here. Say he was there when he took the phone call. Right? And then his phone dies. He's not going to be walking that far. Right? For you to not find him. Right? His phone pinged there. So he's going to be around this area somewhere. But, why did Lucy May wait till late, like the afternoon or something to actually 
go to the police station and report him missing. She did say she phoned, but they've got no record of her phoning at the time she stayed. So there's no fire law enforcement now. be going, excuse me, Miss, Miss Lucy May, why are you lying? And why have you gave three different times to when apparently Jay phoned you, but really you phoned him? You know what I mean? There's so, how they have let these people just go? They let those two guys come home. They've let Lucy come home. And I tell you now, Lucy is not going to be able to do this work no more. Oh, no. Now her face is put all over social network. She's not going to be able to do this work no more. And from what I understand, she has got children. And I say children, not child. Because someone's seen a post on her Facebook page saying, I'm sorry, sweet, like to her children, it's to her children, but your grand is stopping me from seeing you. Or something like that. I'm going, you're 19, you're very young, you've got two children at least, at least one. No wonder the grand's flipping, looking after the child. You're never at home. You're never at home. You're not worried about your children, if that is the case. You're not worried about those children. You know they're safe. You know they're with the grand and they're safe. So you're thinking, I'm 19, I'm making a lot of money here, I'm travelling everywhere, I'm going round the world. Well, round the world is mainly where drug meals go. Because I don't care what anyone says, she was dealing. She was dealing. Because how on earth can a 19-year-old afford... To go to all these places. Let's just close some of these windows down. Right. She thinks about closing her Facebook page down. We're not going to find her. <laughs> How wrong she is. Where's more oh, God to my nah. Home. Uh, uh, I'm going to find. Where do I find search? Ten of twenty four. XXL, Malta, Lyon, Milan, the lakes, is that up in Scotland where you can get the feck away from, no, it ain't up in Scotland, it's on the way to Scotland, I believe. Tenerife, Mint Fest. Is any of this ringing a bell to anyone? It beats that Barcelona, Warehouse, Nova Music Festival, Malaga, London Park 2, Dam, Amsterdam. Oh, I know that's known for his drugs. I know that much. Jamaica, known for his drugs. Trick Tenerife, don't know what that is. Creams, 23. Edinburgh, hmm. Green World, another music festival. Zach Intras, Zach Grease somewhere. Benidorm, Budapest, London, Tunisia, Creamfields, Leeds Feast. Fest. London 22. Tunisia, Queenfields, Leeds Fest, Argyle. Huge Fuentrev. I can't even pronounce that name. Park Life, another music festival. Right? Um, Uh, 
Uh, where was this? Uh, St. Paul's Bay, Malta. Yeah, look. St. Paul's Bay, Malta. Looks like another music festival. Yeah. And then we got... What's this one? Have we got... No, we haven't got any episodes, I don't think. We have, look. Oh, another music festival. Where's this? Valita Monta. She likes her music festivals, don't she? This is Milan, Italy. She gets about. What's this one? Is this the lakes? The old man of Coniston. I don't know where that is, but. Oh, there's something I wanted to show you on this Instagram. I think it's this one. No. No, that's the Greek Islands there. It's one of these. Is it this one? No. Oh, it might be. No, I don't It's... And she's driving around, and it's in Tenerife, right? And she's driving around in one of these little buggy things. Mountain buggies. Oh, look, she loves her music festivals, doesn't she? I hope you made the most of it, Lucy, because I don't think you'll be going to many more. Because you are going to be watched every step of your way. Right. This is in Costa Agda, where we are now, in Tenerife. Where was it? Was it this? There's one of them. And she's on, um... Is it? Yes. Tenerife, Canary Islands. You tell me she don't know those mountains. She knows those mountains. She knows them. She drives around in these buggy things, these mountain buggy things. Right? Boogie in the mountains, Lucy May, boogie in the mountains. Where is he, Lucy? Where's Jay? Or perhaps you don't know where Jay is. Perhaps those two guys, those Moroccans or whoever the English UK guys, whatever they, whoever they are, took him and dumped his body in the mountains. As I showed last night, how easy it was. Right? How easy it was. Now, okay, his phone could be pinging up here. Doesn't mean he's up here. But if you look at this... You'll see the paps. You'll see the paps. All right. 
See, this is the Airbnb where he was staying. There's a trekking path here that comes from the main road just off the island there round. Which could be a possibility that they came down there. Just parked the car up over there. Got him out, carried him down. Two or three of them could do it quite easily. And look, you see the path. I'm going to go in even closer today. Right, so you can see the path. See where the path comes? It is very, it looks very thin. And it wiggles around. All the way down to here. All the way down. All the way down. Keep going. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going right down. Along here. All right, possibly over that. I don't know. But this here is rocks and a lot of, because there you're going up the mountain then. It may look like it's flat, but you're not. You're actually going up the mountain from there. So from there, you're going up a mountain then. So you come down the mountain, and then you come that way. It all leads down into this gorge here, round here. Right? But what if they got onto this path here? And they carried him down here. Alright, there's a path. All the way down. What if they've done that? And then thrown his body over somewhere like in here. What is that? Is that another gorge? Yeah, that's another gorge. So when you're walking along here, you when you come up onto these things, you are actually on top of the mountain. You're walking along a path on top of the mountain. Right, because I was doing it yesterday before I come live. And I don't know if it's going to let me do it today. Oh, it might. Let's have a look. Looks like I can have a lookout point. But there's nothing saying you couldn't get down there. It wouldn't be easy. I'm not saying it's going to be easy peasy, it's not. But look, that's what I'm saying, it's mountains then. Mountains. Right, and mountains again. And that goes down and down. So I think if they are looking, if that Paul Long is looking in that area, I think he's looking in the right area. I think his phone was put up here as a diversion so that they wouldn't be looking down here. You know what I mean? Because I'll show you, you can get onto the mountain just here, I think. No, it's not going to let me. For some reason, it's not going to let me. Let's try again. You think you're in the gorge, but you're not. You're actually on a mountain. Here we are. Oh, yeah, you're partly in the gorge. Right, so you can walk down. It's very uneven, though. So you imagine walking down there with a body. Right. But it's possible. It's possible. That's all I'm saying is it's possible. So, right, where am I? So, 
is it possible that something happened on that beach? Is it possible that they carried him to the car? So, like, as they say, tag to me to drink if anyone had seen him. You know what I mean? So, it's possible. Oh, God. It's possible. Right? It's possible that they could... Something happened on that beach. I don't care what anyone says. Something happened on that beach. Because they are not showing you the video for that day. They took it down. They took it off the site. Now, I'm so tempted, you know, to set my alarm for like 5 a.m., 5.30. Just to come and log on to this. See what is actually going on at that time in the morning between 5 and 5 in the morning. I don't think I really, I didn't even trust myself going with a partner who might want to kill me by the end of the first day there. You know what I mean? <laughs> but some, I definitely say something happened on that beach. And it's more over there. Can't see from this camera. But it's more like these are all the sunbeds here. And you see them walking past that area. And they're right on the water edge, round about, I say, over here somewhere. So it could be another camera somewhere off another building. But they definitely removed the footage from the 17th off this site. Why? If there's nothing to be seen, why move the footage? Right? You wouldn't, would you? You wouldn't take the footage off if there was something to be seen. So this is, from what I can make out, it's a beach it happened on. Now, let's just go to Masco Google Map. I'll come off this bit. Oh, God, so it's doing it again to me. Right? Oh, why is it doing this? Close this. I swear to God. Right. New tab. Google Maps again. Just had to shut Google Maps down because it was playing up on me. It kept moving from my tab bar at the top. And it does my head in when it does that because I can't see what I'm doing. No. Las Cristianas. This is where he was staying here. So it's and it's by the Hard Rock Cafe. Right? This is taken from the Hard Rock Cafe. Apparently. I don't know how true that is because the Hard Rock Cafe is over there. 
let's just see on this map. And the beach is there. That view is not being took from there. That is from another place. Right? But that's the... And he was staying where... Let's find it. Lost Christiana. So it wasn't the Hard Rock Cafe then. Because the Hard Rock Cafe is over here. Because see up on share this map. I'll, I will share it with you. See how the boat's going there. And they go to let's pull out and we'll see. They just go to other islands and whatever. Right? And they come back, pick more people up, drop people off. So, this is where there was, that camera was. Now, people might wonder, why is it so... Well, that is... Uh, I'm not sure if it's active anymore, but it used to, there used to be an active volcano. I don't think it is no more. And that's why a lot of this land is so barren and the trees don't grow very high. Because you have to put a lot of soil down, but then it hits the rock underneath. So the roots can't grow. So it's too, too big. So the trees don't grow really high. But cactuses thrive in them. Right, so this is the beach. Right. Why I didn't see this one yesterday, I do not know. But this is where he was staying in Los Cristianos. Right? Um, I'm going to web, what our webcam is at where? Playa de Los Cristianos. Right, so it's coming from the player, the... Right there. Yeah, it is. That's where it's coming from. There. There. That beach there. That's where that camera is showing us. It's on this beach here. Right, and I know it's that beach because of the flags, because of these flags. Is that the Scottish flag there? <laughs> I don't know. Possibly. It's got a white cross in it, so it could be. Are they Scottish friendly? Do you know, if you go down to the UK, from Scotland with a Scottish bank note, which is legal tender in the UK. Legal tender. You can spend it anywhere in the UK. Do you know certain places won't let you use it? I went to a party once when I was down there visiting and I went to the bar and I ordered all my drinks. Right? And uh, they poured all the drinks, got them all on the side. And I got my friend, uh, someone who was with me, someone from my family, saying, yeah, I'll take them over to the table. And I handed her this note. And she said, oh, oh, um, what? Well, she said, this isn't an English note. I went, no, it's a Scottish note. It's legal tender. Uh but I don't think we can accept that. I said, well, you're going to have to because I've now took my drinks to my table. So she goes to him, the manager and the manager said, yeah, yeah, we can accept it. They don't like to, but they can. Right? And I remember, I went into a shop once, a post office. I can't remember what I was doing now, getting. And I handed them a Scottish, I don't know if it was Scottish £5 note or a Scottish £10 note, but I handed them a Scottish note. 
Oh, we can't accept that. I went, what? It's legal tender. I don't know how many times I've had arguments that weekend. I was down there with people in stores, in shops. And she said, if you go to the post office at the back there, they'll change it for you. I looked around and the queue for the post office was going out the door. I went, are you fucking kidding me? You want me to wait in that queue just to get changed to an English note so I can buy whatever it was I was buying? You know what? Why bye-bye. You just lost your customer. And I just walked down. I thought, you are so ignorant. It's a legal tender. Scottish notes are legal. We don't have that problem when you come up from England with the English notes in Scotland. You don't have shops that, oh, we can't accept that. They're so biased down in England towards the Scottish. They really are. I never noticed it until I moved up to Scotland. And then, even then, I didn't notice it until. Well, I used to notice it, like, on the, like, the Olympics and things like that. If it was an English player, say, an English track runner, they go, oh, there's another goal for Great Britain. Right? But if it was a Scottish runner, I'd like to have a goal for Scotland. No, it's Great Britain would come under the same fucking flag. You know what I mean? They're so biased. So, so biased. And then it only dawned on me really when I went down there one weekend and they kept refusing me and saying I couldn't spend their notes in their store. You ignorant, biased little fuckers. Right? So that's the beach. That so-called incident happened, right? Now, I think it was more damn this way it happened because I don't know where about this camera is. I think it's round about here, that camera. Let's have a look. Mm-hmm. More over here because you're getting the boats in. You're getting these boats in there. You know what I mean? So it is more over this side, the camera. So I think it was more over here. Round about here. I'd say the argument happened round about here. And I think that's why that camera, this camera, that is playing up at the moment for some stupid, stupid reason. I'll do the time lapse again. I like the time lapse. For some stupid, but you see how dark it is, but there's. But further over, the incident happened. Let's get back. So it's definitely further over that way. And it came because there's different places you can view from. Right, um... Right, there's this place here, but every time I click on that, oh, is it going to let me, oh, it might let me. Oh, is it going to let me. I don't know, I think that's a different part of the beach because there's no boots here. So it's not that one. But as I said, right? Something happened. I took down 
that note off this stream. Now that video we see of that so called right, that could have been someone, a tourist, on their balcony somewhere. Seeing it. Because we're all going, why have you moved your camera? Get back to the and it was only twenty two seconds long. Something like that. <coughs> that is definitely a Scottish flag. So that is definitely the beach it happened on. But you know I can't find that video again. I cannot find it anywhere. Anyway. But she definitely knows her way around those mountains. See, there's all these apartments here. Let's see if I can get on the beach. Yeah. Right. This is by a rock thing, formation thing. But it's definitely down here somewhere on this beach. Somewhere around here. This is why I'm saying the family who have flown out, friends and relatives for support, they could come and check all these places themselves. They could walk along these beaches and look through these rocks because you never know, look, you could find your pump or his T-shirt or something, you know what I mean? Um, but there's another beach on the other side. But look at all the apartments, right? Now, that video of that so-called fight could come from any of these apartments. Any of these apartments. All right. Along here. Or even here, these apartments here. These hotels there, whatever they are. But it's definitely that beach. It's definitely... Oh, I'm sorry. It's definitely... Now, it showed me rocks when I went there, but there's no fucking rocks there. But it's definitely this beach. But as I said, the family could walk all the way along these beaches. Right? All along these rocks, see ya. And while I'm going along, everyone on a sunbed, give them a flyer. Let them know. But as, like, last night I said, it's now coming into the third week. Most of the people that was there that time, I've now flown home. So this is a bit silly. You know what I mean? No, I'm not going to know when, no, I'm not going to know about that lad who went missing. Anyway, let's talk about the search at the A, B and B. I'll find you some interviews. Because that's what my title was about, Airbnb Forensic Search. I don't know if it was a forensic search or what, but... I And the mother has put out a statement, did she not? Right, where's that Airbnb? Here it is. 
13 hours ago. Well, this is it. This is where I talk about that search. And it's a forensic I'm sorry, but I'm I'm in accordance with a lot of people on this. There's a lot of people who has donated money, right? We are not giving up on their son, and now they're asking us to give give them privacy. Okay, we won't talk to you, but we're not going to stop putting his name and picture out there. We're not. People have donated to that fund. To find your son. Right? He's not even been found and you're asking for privacy? Privacy is not one thing you want at the moment. Privacy is what you need at the moment is everyone's eyes on this case. Everyone's. And I know why the mother won't do any interviews. Because she's she's worried that she's going to get criticised again like she was in the first interview or something she did. She's worried that she'll get criticised again. Even though she did give me the Karen Matthew vibes a bit. Right? And you know why I say it was a forensic search? This made me laugh. Because you know them little covers you buy for your shoes? They're like little plastic covers you put over your shoes when you go into someone's house. What the forensic people use, they put them on their shoes. It made me laugh because I used to use them when I did my work as a care worker and all that. Rather than go, go in with my wet shoes, because I couldn't take my shoes off, not as a carer, I put them little covers over my shoes so I didn't drag in any dirt or whatever into the carpets. You know what I mean? I wasn't doing no forensic work. Oh, I just realised I might get stricken for this. 
So hold on, I might just get a strike for this. So, let me just put this picture over you. All right, I might get strike Because some of these news people on YouTube, especially the British, they don't like you showing their, their work. They don't like it. So, let's continue. They didn't spend the whole day up there searching. They spent the afternoon searching because by the time the press conference had finished, it was lunchtime. I must agree that Facebook page it is it is it's just nasty. As I said, when any to anyone when I look into any missing child or any missing person case, if there's a Facebook page for them, I'll join it. Right? Because sometimes you do get some good information. But this that page is I'm gonna show you that page in a bit. <laughs> right <coughs> now this is the yeah
Đấy. Ngài. Are they looking at the fact that foul play is involved? Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Because until they find that, if his body is out there, it could be years before he's found. And as I was trying, oh, I couldn't remember the name of those birds that fly fly around, right? Um, hang on. Hmm. 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 Doesn't say. Doesn't say if they have the, those birds. You know when a, there's a body somewhere, <coughs> a dead body, and they have them birds that fly around. Yeah. That it doesn't say if they have those sort of birds. I should imagine it would be. So if that was the case, wouldn't you see birds hovering around a certain place? Flying around a certain place. I don't know. Right, um. I'm a bit annoyed because. <laughs> Take this off. Because I cannot get my TikTok programs to work. <coughs> and I so wanted to show you these TikToks. Oh, refresh. Let's hope I can get it to work now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I believe, I, I agree. I agree, there's no way. Right, uh, you know, it's actually working for me now. Look. Look at that, that's sharp stuff. Hmm. 
Right. That's this one. I think this might be the one with the glasses. I'm not sure. Yeah. That's the second one. Exactly! You wouldn't, would you? Come on! And actually hiding from someone, but I don't even think that is the case. It makes sense, like, if his phone was thrown in there, that does make sense. Right, let's have a look at this one. See, so he's showing there where his phone pink. So why would you come off a main road to walk down a dirt track? Frozen mother, I'd be going, what the hell, why would you go down a fucking dirt track? You know what I mean? So it it's just Yeah, I'm gonna show you uh some of the roots is drove, right?
Yeah. So if it was him on that CCTV, right, that grainy video, right, again, it doesn't make sense why he wouldn't just stay there. Right? Because by now it's light. It's light. It's not dark. It's light. So why wouldn't you just chill out on a bench somewhere or outside the shop somewhere and wait for it to open? Go to that uh, information centre place. Go and sit outside there until it opens so you can get help to get home. If you've got no money, I'm sure they could give a round for your help. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. None of this, with Jay being up there, makes any sense at all. And with the, and like they said, those two guys, English guys, I've actually got a picture of him somewhere. And you know what? I'm going to have to send it to my emails because I. I can't pull it up on my laptop onto my stream yard. So I've got a picture of this guy. And he's not going to come forward in England. He's out of it now. You know what I mean? Oh, stuff, stuff that I'm not getting back. Yeah. So... Yeah. But then again, I suppose at that time in the morning, it's very quiet, so you wouldn't have any other traffic coming round. I wouldn't want to drive it. I'd want to be fully awake with about 20 cups of coffee inside of me. Look how close is. Ooh. Right, I will not want to drive that. Right. 
Hans. I would not want to do that journey. Now, this is the route down. You'll see something in a minute. You're going to see something and you can show you something. Now look, see here, I'm gone. Go back to that one. Um, I'm going to stop it now because I'm going to tell you something. Now look, see here, there's like a, a wire fencing between these blocks there's a wire fencing so you got the blocks spice fencing see so you can walk along there so you're not even walking on the road there, you walk, there is a path there, you can walk along, because you've got them like cinder blocks or whatever they are, then the path, then this fencing. See? All the way down. You can see them walking down. Get your hoot to eat. There's the bar. It is mind-boggling. Why would anyone do that? 
That's why I don't believe he went up there. If he is found up there, it's because he was took up there. Not because he went there. If you know what I mean. He was took there. And his body was took down into that gorge. See if I can play this one here. This is about the... Yeah. Hold on, she posted it in that Tenerife group before he was even ever before he's ever even missing. Hmm. Bit weird. Oh, they are. They are checking it. Oh, you're on a shake. Hey, nope. Oh. See the tyre marks on those bricks? That's how close cars are going to those bricks when they've been passing each other. You know what I mean? No, he would not have walked through all that because, let's have a look at this one. It shows you what it's like. Look. As I said, if you just stay down the track, you come to these hooks. There's no way you walk through that from the main road through that. No way would they walk through all that. Makes me wonder, why would you go down a dirt road when he's on a perfectly good main road? Because he didn't go down no dirt road. He wasn't... If he went to that Airbnb, I hate to say this, but he was not with the living. If he's found anywhere on those mountains, it's because he was put there.
Lucy May goes around these roads, these dirt track roads, on a buggy. Right? She goes along these dirt roads. Uh, search. Uh, try and find it again. No, I I find it again. Don't worry. Oh God, sorry about that, that's my alarm. Right, no, it's not there. But I showed it you earlier, how she got, she was on that buggy and she drove around on that buggy. Here it is, here it is. She knows those hills. Lucy May, buggy in the mountains, Tenerife, Canary Islands. She knows those hills. So you're telling me she didn't know where those two guys were living? She did. <coughs> <coughs> because no way from that photo that he apparently sent on the morning would you find that Airbnb. You wouldn't. Because the door is at the back. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to find... If someone sent me, like, I live in, a, like, what they call a multi, right? So many times I've had a parcel delivered and they've either left it by my door where it could be took by anyone, which has been done in the past. And... I've low left it in the main foyer downstairs where everyone and anyone is walking in and out can pick it up, which they have done in the past. Right? But when you look at the photo they send you, you're thinking, that isn't my door. Wh where the hell is my parcel? You know what I mean? Because I'm not going to go through every floor on my block looking for that door. I'm not going to go through every floor on all the other blocks around by me, looking for that door. Right? But she knows those hills. She's always in Tenerife. Right? She's always in Tenerife. She just... So don't tell me she don't know them hills. She does. And for him to go up there does not make sense to me at all. Not one little bit does it make any sense to me that this 19-year-old would go off to this Airbnb and then leave at 8 in the morning with very low battery. I wouldn't say 1%, but not very... It wasn't that high a battery. He had some battery, but not a lot. And then apparently do a video call to his friend Braggs, laughing and joking about, look where I am, right? Then literally minutes later, he comes off that, answers a phone call, right? And it's, oh my God, I don't know where I am. I'm lost. I've got no water. I've cut my leg. You know what I mean? How does he go from, 
<laughs> look where I am. And then, oh my God, I'm lost. I don't know where I am. I've got no water. I cut my leg. I think it could be poisonous. You know what I mean? How do you go from that to being frantic? Both their stories don't make sense. They're covering something and they need to put some pressure on them. I'm sorry to the mother out there with her son, but he needs to speak up and tell the truth. Whether he was involved or whether he knows about whether he wasn't involved, if he just knows about it, he's just been told about it. You know what I mean? He may not be involved and he's just been told about it. So, and the mother, I feel, I feel for the family because they've been getting ransom messages, and they've all these ransom messages have been checked, right? And they're fake. They've been checked, right? I do not believe he's being held anywhere because no mafia or drug lord or anyone like that is going to hold a lag for like, what, how many days now, 16 days? When they owe him money. When they know they've just had a fundraiser set up, which is running at the moment at, even though they've took a big chunk out of it, right? It's running at, we'll find out in a minute. It was about 48 last night. Yeah, it's about the same. 47, 48. It was about the same then. Right, recent donations. Bees knees, Accrington. So even if they took out, say, 30,000, there's still 18,000 there, nearly 19,000 pounds they've got in there if they've took out 30. So the drug lords are going to be saying, well, you've got that money now, where's our money? You know what I mean? But no, they've decided to spend that money on bringing family and friends over you can't do the search. If they was there, why didn't they go up and help in that search? Right? They could have gone up. I know they was calling for professional people, people who knew what they was doing. But there's one woman there who wasn't a professional. She went because she'd got a son at the same age and she felt sorry for the mother and wanted to help. She went. She wasn't a professional. So why couldn't... Um, the the younger people go up there and help. They'd all be with a group of professionals. They're not just going to say, "Well, you lot, you you that group there, you just go ahead there, just go and search." That. They're not going to do that. They're going to put them with professional people, right? So why can't they go up there and help? That's what gets me so annoyed. And will they now call help try and get in their own help? Will they try and get people into help? Like proper searchers who know how to work that land. Right? Proper people experience mountain searchers. Because apparently, oh, I'm going to just go up here. From a map I saw, oh, God, get off, get off. Oh, God, why have I gone back there again? Don't want that. Uh, from the map I saw, oh, get off, right, they have, because they put it in sections, 
and this section right this section is being searched this section is being done and another section has been done right so there's like three or four sections that has been searched But to still come back to the point, why would any young lad on the main road suddenly think, oh, I'll take this dirt track. I can see the sea from here. Yeah, right. Uh, this, this looks like sand, yeah. It's not. It's not. I'm going to drop him right there. Oh, God, it's not closing up, obviously. Drop him there, then. It's not sand. It's rocks. This thick bush stuff. And you've got to get all down there still. You know what I mean? You still got to get all, and you're actually on top of a mountain there, right? So you got to get all down here still. It's not easy. I would not want to do that, put it that way. I don't mind going for walks. I know where I live, there's a park over by me and there's one walk. I love walking up there, but Christ, it kills me because it's all uphill. It's all uphill. Coming down is lovely. Coming down is lovely, but going up is all up. And it is paths. Wide paths, not little narrow paths, it's wide paths, right? And um, it's lovely walking up there. I'd look, I, I keep trying to get my grandson to go over there, but he sees the play area and that's it. He wants the play area. He doesn't want to go off into the trees and the bushes and do all that. But I remember once we had a bad storm and some trees come down. And we, I was having to either climb under these trees or over these trees because they come down across the path. Oh, Christ, I've got to come and clear these trees out of the way. And they did eventually. They did come and clear the trees. But it's a, it's a nice walk up there. It's, and you've you got, like, it's split into, like, three parks, right? And it's very weird how it's done. Very weird how it's done. So, it's like, do I say, have you been to that park? Where's that? And then when they show you, yeah, I know that. But I don't call it that park. I call it all the same name. You know what I mean? I call it one name and that's it. So, but I would not want to walk across all that and try and get through all that, all that harsh bushes and everything, because that may look easy enough here, but you don't know what further down, you don't know how harsh it is when you get down there. Now, the guy said, like, you could probably walk down this bit, right? But you don't know what's down there. You know, I'll see if I can get up high so I can show you. Go on. All right, this is up on the mountain. Right? Now, this is up on the mountain.
Right. You've got to get down there to get to the sea. It's not happening. This is why we need the mount, proper mount rescue people because they can, they've got the, the, right, the ropes, everything to get round them places. You know what I mean? I would not want to be up on the top of there. Because that would not be easy to get down there. As you can see, I'm pointing downwards. So you got to go down that way. It's not happening. Right, so where was I again? I was there. Right, and you're pointing downwards. It's not happening. As I said, I would not want to be And that's quite a long walk as well to get to there. If he comes to that path, that's still quite a long walk to get to there. This is the check view, right? Am I going the right way? No. Now, you've got to be a really good hiker to get along these paths. You've got to have the right gear. I would not want to be a hiker going along these, hike, these, these tracks. I really wouldn't because you're literally walking along the edge of a mountain. Look at the drop. Look at the drop if you come off this path. Lose your footing on here. These rocks could move. It's not going to let me go no further, right? But you see what I mean? It's if you went along that path, it, and you're not going to cook down here because you, you've got no footing. These little rocks and stones move, right? You could fall. There's cactuses, everything. You got these prickly bushes here. I would not like to fall in a bush like that, would you? Come on. That's gonna fucking hurt. You're not going to cook down this you know. And if you do, then you'll have fallen. This is why they have paths. But even the paths aren't that secure, I wouldn't say. You know what I mean? Very narrow. You've got to know what you're doing. You've got to have your wits about you. You've just come off a three-day binge. You've got no walk to say you've got to get dehydrated very quickly, disorientated. Right, and you think you can 
Maybe go down something like that. No, it's not happening. It's not happening. No. Just not. Right. I'm going to leave it at that, guys, because it is two hours. I've got to have my tablet. Anyway, thank you for being here with me as i said i don't believe he was up there uh i don't know if i'll do another live tomorrow i'm not sure if something new comes out then i'll go live if not i won't be live if you've got any other cases i would you'd like me to look at please send me a message uh i'll put my email address up email me I will look at any case. But it doesn't matter. How, it could be an old case. It could be two years old. But if you feel that it needs to be looked at, let me know. I will look at it. If I can do something just to highlight that person's case, I will. Right? Because, as I said, I'm not going to focus entirely on this lad because I know he's missing. But there's nothing new coming out at the moment. I say that. You never know. There might be something new come out tonight just before I go to bed. You never know. So, I'm going to leave it at that. But if you have, please let me know. If you're watching on TikTok, I do really appreciate you all being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And on YouTube, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please leave a like. If you've liked what you've heard and saw, please leave a like. Really do appreciate all that. And thank you for being here with me. Until tomorrow, maybe, <laughs> maybe, I'll see you. Good night.